Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here bringing you another video today about video. So I've mentioned on a few of my videos so far that um, one of the main things I'm getting out of my journey on YouTube is learning about videography and all its interesting aspects like audio, lighting and uh, video. But of course, audio is a major, major part of video. So I've done a few video reviews of microphones I've picked up to date along the way. And they tend to be in the kind of more budget or low end of the range. Even this one I put in that category, this is the Audio Technica AT2020. It is an XLR podcasting slash studio microphone. So I have to connect it to my computer via an audio interface. But like most people who are, you know, at the early stages of their videography or video journey, I don't have a ton of money to spend on the different things. And I personally have a preference for what I call spending my money widely. So as a learner, I'll, I often try to like just buy different microphones just to learn how to work with them. So I have, for instance, a phantom powered lav mic, XLR lav mic, 3.5 mil, a few 3.5 mil uh, TRSS lav mics. I have a XLR shotgun. I have um, a 3.5 mil shotgun. So I like to buy different types of mics just to kind of play around with different setups rather than spend a lot of money on any one microphone. My rationale is just until I really know what I'm doing, it's better to go in that manner. But as I have become interested in sound and microphones, I can't help myself but when watching uh, Netflix now or movies, what microphones are those guys using? So I follow a couple of really good uh, sound guys here on YouTube. Um, I'm gonna give you a couple of recommendations. One of them is uh, Curtis Judd, and actually that's all that I have at the moment. Uh, no, Sound, sound Speeds. This is uh, Sound Speeds is the second one. I'll put a link to these guys in my description because they're both fantastic. Sound Speeds is a uh, professional uh, boom operator and that sounds not very interesting. The video is not just about boom operation and booming mics. He He's encyclopedia, walking encyclopedia of knowledge about sound. So those guys are really, really sharp and they sometimes give little insights into what kind of microphones professionals, uh, pro productions or big, uh, big end productions like Hollywood movies are actually using. But nevertheless, um, I wanted to get a list. So I went to one of the subreddits I highly recommend. I mentioned before, I have kind of a bit of a love hate relationship with Reddit in general, but my longstanding thinking is that it's all about those kind of niche communities where people are a lot nicer to one another and often it's just kind of such a small world that there's almost like that kind of pressure of interacting uh, with people you know that you have to be nice to them so I find this a great subreddit it's called location sound and I'm going to read off the description here the subreddit for location sound production sound and field recording we are the sound department responsible for recording the audio when shooting film or video um, so this is a small sub of 20,000 people, relatively small, but not tiny. Um, but there's a lot of folks actually working in the industry here. And something really cool is that they are pretty receptive to questions from engaged amateurs like me. So I posted here a few days ago. I'm going to jump now over to my screen. And if anyone wants to be, I don't know, is, it Re is Re are Reddit friends even a thing? I should know this. I've been using Reddit long enough. I'm Daniel Rosal on Reddit. Not exactly hard to find. Um, so that's me. So I asked this question four days ago. Are there industry standard microphones used in big uh, studio Hollywood productions? This is something I'm going to read. I'm going to read my post here as a rookie videographer. I've always been curious to know when it comes to huge Hollywood productions in which dimes and nickels presumably aren't a huge issue. Are there any quote best in class or industry standard lav mics, AKA Lavelier. I, I think it's pronounced Lavelier shotguns, wireless systems, or does each individual sound department tend to have their favorite go-tos? And that ends up determining which specific products are used. I actually asked that or part of the question for a reason, because um, there's a great YouTube channel that these guys recommended uh, in this thread in which they interview sound guys and look at their sound boxes. And my understanding is that, uh, you know, the sound 
professionals tend to move between studios or productions I might be wrong about that but they certainly have their favorite so i was basically wondering is it like there is you know the wireless road go whatever the pro equivalent of that is that everyone uses or does it depend on the guy you hire to do your your sound uh if that's if that makes sense so oh yeah this is a youtube series i'm gonna put myself uh, down a little bit uh, this is totally worth watching it's by ursa um and they do the series of what's in your kit bag and it's amazing they they interview the sound guys uh oh two other youtube channels i'm on my third take because i keep screwing little things up in this video and i'm really sorry if i already mentioned this that would mean i'm going crazy curtis judd and sound speeds i think i already did back to the post so i got a list from somebody space dog 420 thank you space dog 420 i love how ridiculous reddit usernames are when you actually read them out um so space dog 420 gave me exactly what i was looking for a list of uh microphones that are commonly in use amongst professional productions starting with uh boom mics now as an amateur there's a couple of brands i recommend like sennheiser and a couple of ones i haven't and uh, neumann i know is uh, makes some pretty high-end microphones and then some others that I haven't become acquainted with yet. He goes down into Lavelier microphones or commonly called lav mics. I, rec I recognized uh, the countryman from Curtis Judd's reviews. I think he's reviewed a few of their microphones. And then for wireless systems, uh, he gives a few as well. Um, so the next thing I wanted to do was run these in, run these through B&H photo video to see how much they cost. And here is the excitement of the video. Um, starting with the Countryman B6, one of the lav mics mentioned. This one surprised me in that it's not insanely expensive. B&H have it on back order for just shy of 300 uh, USD. Now there were more expensive ones in that list, but my understanding from watching Curtis's videos and other people is that the Countryman B6 OmniLav is considered a respectable uh, Lavalier microphone that's definitely in use among TV studios, etc. Uh, one clue that it's a more professionally oriented microphone is in the color varieties. They have these different colors for uh, you know disguising the lav mic, which is something that a lot of kind of more amateur folk uh, don't really put effort into. But when you have a whole sound department uh you know someone can be really really smart about uh, matching the lav mic with different skin tones in order that it shouldn't be visible to viewers uh so that's a random lav from that list um then we had some nice options in our boom mic we had a couple of sennheisers so i put one of those the sennheiser mk50 uh into bnh photo video i thought i did Ah, the Sennheiser 60 was no longer available. So I went for this. This was also on the list. The Sennheiser MKH50 48 volt phantom power uh, microphone, which is obviously a shotgun mic uh, that I guess as, as it was listed by our friend Mad Dog or whatever his name was under boom mics, it must commonly be used for booming. And this guy comes, at, comes in at 1200 usd now there were definitely more expensive shotguns on that list and there were cheaper ones but just picking something from a well-known brand and seeing well how much would that cost 1200 now that's interest interesting to me because well i guess the amount of money it is for reference my audio technica atr875 compact shotgun microphone which i'm using as a boom um, on my camcorder clocks in at about 120 sorry about 150 dollars so that's kind of how much you need to spend on shotguns to get past the really low end of the market which is products like boya um you know the kind of chinese hong kong manufacturers that make stuff that really really sounds dodgy so about 150 bucks for in the world of shotgun microphones will get you an xlr professionally oriented microphone that is budget but look at the difference between 150 dollars and 1200 it's quite a quite a big uh financial difference between the two so actually the difference between the uh, professional and amateur end of the shotgun microphone world it seems to me is bigger than the difference between 
the lav mics because 300 versus maybe a 100 dollar lav mic to get something truly studio grade broadcast quality professional etc etc isn't ginormous but the difference between a you know spending um 150 bucks on a shotgun and spending over one thousand dollars is quite a gap um okay and then in wireless systems so something i like about b and h photo video is that they tend to they divide everything according to pro and consumer so you can see they have a pro audio section um for wireless systems look how many they have over 1200 different wireless systems now in terms of what's pro and what not what's not um this is the link i got to by following prompts for pro and i'm sorting on what's popular by best sellers and the first thing we get is something that looks to me like it would definitely be suitable or um, it would not be out of place in a pro video production set. That's this Sennheiser EW1112P G4 camera mount wireless Omni Lav microphone system. So you get a uh, Lavalier and uh, these systems tend to be um, what's what I'm looking for, like interchangeable. So you can buy a 1TX, 1RX, i.e. a wireless system pair. And then if you need to buy more transmitter units, you can buy them and then they'll record into the same transmitter so this is 650 dollars for this particular system and by the way this is by no means as pricey as it gets so i'm going to now source on price high to low and just see what we can find um and some pretty interesting wacky products here i'm trying to find an actual wireless system um so you can see six thousand we're in the six thousand range um four and a half thousand uh so yeah basically that's a lot and you can all you can obviously filter based on the receiver type so actually i'm going to just clock into camera mount here and this is a bit more what what i was looking for electrosonics l series uh zs lrt camera mount wireless omni lav microphone system coming in at uh three thousand three hundred and sixty six dollars so the conclusion of this little purchasing expedition thank you very much to location sound and subreddit and it's mad dog and everyone else that commented on that thread is that the cost of professional microphones that might be used in hollywood and big budget productions you are looking at something like 400 dollars and up for lav systems you're looking at shotgun microphones for booming that commonly cost over one thousand dollars a piece and for uh, wireless systems, you might be using 600 to 3300. That's about the range. So uh, versus our amateur kit, the wireless, uh, the lav mics aren't crazy. The shotguns are a lot more expensive and the wireless systems are a little bit more expensive. Uh, uh, Saramonic, to give an example of a brand that I don't think is used in professional applications you can get a wireless system from them for about 300 dollars thereabouts uh versus 600 uh sorry over 3k uh to get electrosonics and about 650 to get something from sennheiser um hope this video has been interesting if you're also fascinated by the world of videography and video production if you'd like to get more videos from me um about those topics and many more do feel free to hit the subscribe button Thank you very much for watching.